all, and welcome to episode 18 of the Dragon Warrior Monsters Let's Play, brought to you by me, Mr. Houndoomer. Last episode was kind of a grindy episode, but got death to 14, wings to 12, and demon to 14 as well. They are looking pretty good overall with good skills, or at least interesting skills. Makes all enemies less resistant to magic spells. Okay, that's pretty neat actually. Allows you to attack first in the turn and attacks all enemies with a sandstorm. Interesting skills for the monsters of choice, but that is what we got. The plan for today is to get these guys close to bad meat? What is that? Names monsters. Okay, I have yet to come across that. That is a completely new item for me. Can I use it here? What the heck? Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> oh! I poisoned him with it? Honestly, I was not expecting that. But okay, sure. I'm glad I used it on them then. If it was gonna tame mine, then, or if it was gonna tame them, then it should have been good. But hey, would that slug just try to lick demon? Gosh, nastiness. If you are enjoying the series so far, which I'm assuming so, if you are continuing to watch at this point, be sure to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe. That really helps me out a lot every time someone hits that subscribe button. Not to mention it's super exciting every every single time that I get a new subscriber. You guys are the reason I do this stuff. The longtime followers and fans. Because I've been doing this for about a year, a little over a year at this point. Not got a huge following at this point, but doing doing fairly good. I'm I'm okay with it. I do this for fun, so it's it's not a huge deal, but it really does help whenever you guys subscribe. It lets me know that you're enjoying the content, that I'm doing a good job, and to basically keep it up. But if you guys have suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I do enjoy reading the comments and responding to you guys. Having conversation back and forth. Ooh, level 15. Man, he's getting some good stats. I definitely have to keep raising him. Ooh, learn to curse. That sounds awesome. Your stats have slowed down quite a bit. What does curse do? Curses all enemies. Well, I guess that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? I mean, it kind of is what it is. Or is what it says. I can respect that. Alright, go to the next floor. We shall. Whoa. I do not remember seeing this. <gasps> I wonder if we're going to find someone to battle in here. That'd be good. Oh, those are so much points. Ooh, but Wings has really low health. Like, normally. Not right now. I mean, it's a little low for it, but not, not terrible. I don't have anybody that heals either in this team. 
But yes, the support that you guys give is greatly appreciated, even if you don't realize it. I mean, it's the same way with most YouTubers. I guess there are some out there that probably don't care as much or maybe have an ego or something like that, but for the most part, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscriptions and stuff are very much appreciated by the... Uh-oh. I do not have any antidotes, do I? Yikes, I may actually need that warp wing that I got rid of. Didn't I? Or do I have one? I have one. Okay, warps to the to a mystic hole. Warps back to the castle instantly. What's a myst? Oh, is the mystic hole the thing where I can leave or go to the next floor? How much does that take away? One each turn. Okay. Uh, this is not good. I was really hoping to get them a lot higher level on this at this point. Hey, wings got to 13. 445554. Five, five, Sounds like some kind of code. Oh, it doesn't look like he's going to get any more moves. We're in 34, 66, and 75, and you are poisoned. Uh, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. I'm really hoping to find an antidote at this point. I know the odds are not good, but I really like that. Well, that helped out a lot. I think I've asked this before, but it might have been on a different series. I have a bit of trouble keeping them straight sometimes. Because I tend to do bulk recording sessions. Where I just record a whole bunch at once. But, uh, what's your drink of choice whenever you're playing a game or uh, watching a video or something? Mine's usually, I drink a lot of, like, a kickstart a day on my days off in the morning, usually. Oh, please be an antidote, please be an antidote, please be an antidote, please be an antidote. Ah, oh, it's an herb. I mean, it's still helpful, but really not what I was looking for. Then I usually switch to water, or um, I've been drinking a lot of green tea lately, trying to get into healthier drinking. Get the Lipton Green Tree Citrus. Not sponsored by Lipton or anything, but hey, if you want to sponsor me, Lipton, let me know in the comments. I would definitely take a sponsorship at this point. <clears throat> and that's not why I do this or anything, but... It would certainly be encouraging, and I would definitely appreciate it. Another warp step. I wonder how much those are worth. I need to use one and see what happens with that. Okay, let's see if we can take these guys out in one shot or not. I don't think so because of the cat fly. That is gonna- oh, okay. Nope, cat fly is gone. Now if we can just hit both of those, and we are not going to. Giant slug is- or poison gone is going to attack. Please hit- don't poison, don't poison, don't poison. Darn it! Ah, yeah, I'm gonna have to warp out of here. Also, I'm gonna have to check out that staff and see what that does. What's the point of having the thing if you don't use it, right? Did I explore the whole place? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and say so. Um, I need to get these guys out of here ASAP. Ah, I thought that's what it did. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, you could not have come at a better time. Oh, thank you, game. Oh my gosh, that is flipping awesome. Saved by the cleric. I really thought I was just gonna have to warp out of here. But I'll go ahead and go to the next floor, see what's what's up and everything. Oh man, I'm so glad that I did. I'm so <laughs> freaking happy about that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Right in the nick of time. Oh, and then get this. That is not going to help me. Oh my gosh, one shot. One shot from death, and that's gone. How many points do you guys need? I keep looking at how many they have. 453, 1173, and four, of course it's 453. Why do I keep doing that? Alrighty. That does not look like a cat. What? No, no, it straight up looks like a demon. A demon with a belly. Please take out this poison gone thing. I, I don't think I'm gonna get that kind of luck again in this. Oh, thank goodness. Wings is actually doing a good amount of damage on just its straight up attack. What is its attack? 134, 91, and 98. All three of these guys got pretty decent attack. Agility's good. Intelligence is good. Defense is a little a little lacking. 82. Defense good. Agility good. Intelligence is a little low on wings. Wow. Three stats over 100. Five if you include the HP and MP, and its defense is still at 83. Death is O. E. That is flipping awesome. That thing is definitely going up there. Oh no, it's the tick thing. It's the tick! An eider. I'm guessing it's like a spider eyeball creature. Yeah, you're being prepared to attack. Doesn't help if you don't get attacked, giant slug. Or Numamon. I know what you are. I see right through your disguise. Ooh. Is this going to be the antidote that we wanted? It is not. 75, did. Did you get hit? You did not. That's all the HP you've got? Huh. I thought it had like 80, 90 something. Well then, I guess I'm a little... A little off on that. No, why are you doing a regular attack? Oh no. Uh no, we're in trouble. We are in serious trouble. Okay, it didn't poison. Thank goodness. Now why didn't you do this the first time? It would have made so much more sense whenever there was three of them. Then Demon would have finished it off. Come on guys, get it together. Get a grip. Work as a team. It's definitely an interesting looking level. Feels like I'm walking through the forest. Found an herb. It has really helped to deposit a bunch of those healing items. I might pull some of them out whenever going to a harder area again. Because, I mean, I can't use them in the tournament, so... There's no point in saving them for that. They are specifically for these dungeons. Antidote. Map herb. Ah, uh, those are worth a little bit of money, right? Like, 38 or something? Or 53? I don't wholehearted really... Uh, 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 wholeheartedly remember. I don't think I used that term correctly either. I don't rightly remember it. That one I know is correct. 
probably going to record a couple of Let's Try episodes for the Game Boy Color after this. Nice! 888488. Jeez. He's got some insane stat increases. I think the other two have kind of slowed down at this point. They might be at their peak. But Wings shouldn't be very far away from getting a level up. Because shortly after they do, Wings gets one. Oh, also, uh, if you are unfamiliar with it, my Let's Try series, I've got one for the Game Boy Color and one for the Game Boy. Have not started one for the Advance or DS or anything like that at the moment, but planning on working into them eventually. Um, each episode features a different game, and I just kind of play it for a little bit, and recently have been uh, rating them on what I call the Doomer Scale, which is out of 10, and just kind of on whether or not I would recommend them or whether I enjoyed them. I try to be fair, because not all games are ones that I enjoy, but I try to give them still a fair rating based on the type of game and the overall gameplay and things like that. So if it's the type of game that you like, but I don't, I still try to be fair about the game itself. Even if it's not one that I'm a big fan of then that way you can still get an accurate uh, rating on them. Because I rate them based on, you know, smoothness and gameplay, uh, content, replayability for some, <coughs> and just different things. A lot of it depends. It's kind of a game-to-game -game basis. Because a lot of games are very different, and a lot of them are pretty similar. The more of the older games you play, the more unique ones you find, and the more you find that are just cheap knockoffs that they threw out to make some money. Which is sad, but it does happen. I mean, at some point, someone got greedy and wanted fast money so they could either work on a project that they were doing that was going to be a big one, or... You know, just because they were running out of money, so they had to throw something out there. And hope that it worked. Sometimes it really shows. I've played some really weird games in those series. And I've played some really, really great ones. Some a lot that I've never even heard of, some I can't even pronounce. But that's the nature of the series. I play those. You guys get to see uh, basically what the game is and what it's about. And decide for yourselves whether or not it's something that you would like to try out for yourself or play. Or buy. If that's the case where you're collect them and stuff. If it would be worth getting a hard copy. Or if you just want to get an emulation of it. Or ROM. And... Play it that way to pass some time, either on your phone or on your computer. Phones today are pretty impressive at times. You could get an emulator and sit there and play a lot of games, including this one, on your phone. Which is very, very impressive. I'm not super tech savvy or anything, but... I think it's pretty cool that you could sit there and play a full game all the way through of something like this or even an advanced game and I think there's uh, ones you could you know even do like DS and stuff like that an old uh, PlayStation Sega N64 Super Nintendo and stuff like that emulators as well for your phone it's really really neat stuff that was not very nice. 
I do not appreciate your hostility there, Catfly. Hey, Wings got the 14 and 1 on the HP. Yeah, I'm thinking these guys are slowing down, so I might need to put them back. And raise some other ones. Death is still hardcore getting stats. So I would be a fool to stop raising this guy. A girl? Is Death a girl? Boy, okay. I mean, it doesn't matter to me except for the breeding aspect, but. Do I have a girl in there that would be good to combine with it? Do not know. And can we take out the other one with wings? That was a little unnecessary, but okay, you got the job done. So it's all good. It's all good. What floor am I on? Five out of ten. I still have yet to get a monster to their max level and find out what how you can actually tell. If you're watching this and you know, let me know in the comments. I would really be interested to know, do they just not get any more experience or uh, do they, do they get any, ah, yeah, I thought so, or do they just uh, stop getting stats when they get a level up? Like, what do, how does it work to where I know they can't get any higher? That would be super helpful to know. Because I know that, I don't know that there's a level cap, but I know there's a point where they stop growing. I don't know, the, the breeding guides are few and far between for this, which is why when I'm done with this series, I'm probably going to do like a... A more in-depth on the breeding as I learn about it and stuff. Cause I haven't seen anything like that out there and I think that would be a good one for people who want to play these types of games or this game specifically. I've seen plenty on breeding combinations and stuff like that where they just breed like crazy but not one not like a comprehensive breeding guide. Which is what I'm talking about doing. That was some pretty good points. I do not need the other warp wing. I find those things very often, so it's not something I'm super worried about running out of. Plus, I have one. And I th think I have an extra one in the bank in case I ever actually use this one. So at this point they would just be to sell to make money. Which is actually pretty helpful. I mean if I keep getting the love waters maybe I'll start selling those. They're worth a lot more money. Even they don't, though they don't heal you up that much more. I think herbs heal what? 30 to 40 and uh... well no okay it's like twice as much. It's like 60 to 80 maybe the love water but the cost of them is way more than the herbs so that part doesn't make sense to me but I mean I find a ton of them for free so I guess I can't if they're more expensive to buy then they're more expensive to sell so that's just a win-win We got here an herb. I'm gonna have an herb I can use. Dude, there it is. Not that you're in any danger of running out of health, but you were missing the most, so it just kind of made sense to me to heal you. Ah, oh, I got a little Grim Reaper following me. That's awesome. I like my Grim Reaper buddy. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to run, not going to lie. Oh, please, 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 please don't just do that. 
Now they have two chances to poison. Oh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out here. Wait, did they not attack? Did they not attack? Or did they and I just missed it? Oh man, that was terrifying. What is this? Elf water. Yeah, those are good. That like fully restores your MP, I think. And this is... Elf water. Go ahead and use this on... You. Your defense isn't quite as good. Either. I swear it just looks like a floating tick. 100% that is what that thing looks like to me. <gasps> Death got 17! Oh no, its stats are slowed. Oh, its attack is not. Learn mouth shut? What does that do? Suspends an enemy's air attack? I think I'm good to not learn that one. Oh, and now your stats are going up a lot. See, now I don't get this. Vacuum slash. Oh, cool. Cool. <gasps> Would you combine with cat? You were... Um, no. Spooky and Demonite. You were Dragon and Hopper. Yikes, I'm sorry about that. Mad Cat and Big Roost. Yep. That vacuum slash is what made me think of it. Guess I'm going to use this map herb. I mean, it doesn't help any at this point, but I wasn't going to be using it anyways. Yay, and that means Wings is close to a level up too. Ooh, and this will go a long ways in helping that. Okay, I don't like the fact that these things can poison, but I really like the amount of experience I'm getting from these things. And if we can take them out on the first try like that, then we don't have to worry about it so much. Because you're doing five damage to Wings. That's, that's not scary at all. By the way, if you play this game and, you know, know a lot about it and are watching this, is the main way to get money in this, because, like I said, the tournaments, the entry fee increases insanely, insane amounts to me, um, is the way to... get money, like the main way, by selling stuff that you find in the dungeons? Because I seriously doubt it's the money that you pick up. I mean, I'm going to sell that lava stat because I've got one. Ooh, I haven't... Have I used that yet? <gasps> I should have been doing that to avoid getting poisoned. Oh my gosh, why did I just now think of that? Um, bad meat. Okay, we can pass on that. Although that did poison an enemy last time. Do the staves have a limited amount of uses? Like, there's... I have a lot of questions about this. Oh my gosh, they go first. They are getting an attack in. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, this is very bad. Okay, that, that wasn't... That wasn't too bad, even after I was complaining that that was really bad. Um, let's see... Staff, wing, lava staff. See what this does. Hot lava floods the ground. Boom! Yeah, that did pretty good damage. Because if there's limited use to the stabs, then I will probably end up depositing those and bringing them back out as needed. I guess I could try and find out. If I remember to use the lava staff every battle, 
and it's got a limited amount of uses, then surely it'll break by then. Does it say in here? I don't think it says in here. Makes damage with magma. It, it does not say. But I mean, that's that's a lot of damage to be getting guaranteed at the start of each battle. I almost feel like that's unfair, especially considering that this is supposed to be a monster collecting, training, fighting game. For you to be able to interfere like that, it just seems kind of weird to me. I mean, I'm going to take advantage of it because the mechanic is in there. Well, I'll take advantage of it when I remember that I can do it. Especially when it comes to these poison gods. Okay, so this is three uses that I know of. But I think I used it before. Please take out the other poison gun. Oh no. It can poison all of them? Ah, oh, this is bad. Wait, wasn't there a healing thing over here? Like on this next floor? Was it here? Please be here. Dang it, it is not! What floor are we on? 8 out of 10. I've got plenty of healing stuff, so I'm not super worried about that. I am worried, though, about something happening during. I wish I could move this thing over. There's got to be a way to do that, right? Should be able to take these guys out in one turn this time, though. I haven't had a monster join me in a while. Kind of makes me sad. Nobody wants to play with me. Gosh, if that could be an antidote. It is an herb. I'm not gonna get rid of a love water for an herb. That just doesn't make any sense. Not even a map herb. This one's not very big, is it? It does not appear so. few minutes left on this episode. Man, it's getting warm in this room. I have the door closed whenever I do this stuff. Ah, I forgot to use the fire staff. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't matter. And for some reason, it just gets really warm in here. It's making me very nervous. Did I have any? Did I get any meat that I could use? I did not. Okay. Wait. I did, however, want to use. Where is it at? Warp staff. Please be the. Um, you're not a healing guy. Item shop. What have you got? He has antidotes. I'm going to sell... I mean, I get a bunch of these, so I'm... Oh, wait, no, no. I'm less and less worried about... Oh my gosh! 
Wait, don't I have two of those? Which one do I have two of then? Well, I guess this is how you end up getting all that extra money. Good grief. Go ahead and use this on you. And on you. Kind of wondering if I should buy extras of those. Yeah, see, the love water cost 80. But the herb costs eight. Whoops. I'll buy a couple. I mean, I'm almost out of here, so it's not that big of a deal, but... Man, those stabs. You wouldn't happen to give me whatever's in that chest, would you? Nope. Nope, nope, I'm guessing he's not going to give me that. Okay, we're building up a little bit of money here. I guess I'll take that over the healing and stuff. Healing is super helpful, but... Okay, I need to go ahead and get off here. Or 10 of 10, right? Alright, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this episode of Let's Play series. Hope I didn't say Let's Try at the beginning or in the other episode. If I did, I apologize. It is a Let's Play as I'm playing through the whole thing. Um, if you did, be sure to like, leave me a comment, and subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss an upload. And uh, follow me on Twitter, Mr. Houndoom1. Love to hear from you there, too. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks, all. Thank you.